All right, finally today, we are going deep inside of Hollywood. And Andrew, the bubble takes us deep inside the movie making world. Yes, Patrick and Tony, if you both feel like you have lived in a bubble these past two COVID years, guess what? Writer-director Judd Apatow has the comedy for you. Take a look. This movie is going to make the world forget about all their problems. Yeah. What we're doing is edgy. Yeah. It's real. Crystal just did a TikTok with a dinosaur. Okay, guys, I really, really love this comedy. I laughed my ass off watching it. And basically the premise of it is, it is about the cast and crew of a blockbuster film trapped in a production bubble. So we kind of get to see the inner workings of what it was like for people making movies these past couple years, but with a Jad Apatow comedy spin. And one of the most interesting things about this, the, the reason why this whole movie came about was because Judd and his writer Pam Brady were inspired by the making of Jurassic World Dominion, which is going to hit theaters this summer. But it was delayed and delayed for months and months, and the cast of that film had to live in a bubble. So in this kind of parody film, we see the actors in Judd's fake movie called Cliff Beasts 6 um, work around this production bubble. So it stars Karen Gillum, Pedro Pascal, Judd's wife, Leslie Mann. It even has Judd's daughter, Iris, in it. And they play these kind of heightened action heroes forced to live together during production. And I laugh. I mean, Keegan-Michael Key is also in this movie. And I just laugh my ass off because I feel like also here in Hollywood, we like a little inside baseball kind of things. And, you know, even if you don't work in show business, you'll still appreciate and laugh about all the things that we had to go through during the pandemic and that we're still going through. Um, there's even a scene, I, I think it's in the trailer where, you know, they assemble the cast together and the kind of COVID protocol guy was like, don't touch anyone, but you're allowed to make sweet eyes with each other. Making sweet eyes at each other. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> so you can do like, <laughs> and that's the most you can do in a production bubble because you know, you know, there's COVID's running rampant and all that stuff. Um, but this is streaming on Netflix right now. Highly encourage you to watch it. And um, I think you're gonna laugh. I think Patrick, I know you're gonna laugh a lot watching this. Andrew, I saw the trailer and I thought, I said, I should ask Andrew, every now and then here on the stream team, we talk about maybe like there's some films and TV shows that maybe you wanna do an edible beforehand. This seems <laughs> like the right one. <laughs> You know, I may or may have been on an edible when I watched this film, and I may or may have told the cast that when I interviewed them at the junket. So, you know, sure, whatever floats your boat. Edible, if it's legal in your state, cocktail, all of that good stuff, for we are not, sure. We're not encouraging drug usage, but sometimes... We are encouraging it if it's legal in your state. That's right. And you know what? I'm in LA, so say la vie. Okay, I am interested in any movie that will make me laugh my ass off because because of the edibles that I have partaken in, yes, it is legal in my state, I have gained a good 20. So if you guarantee me that there's a movie that's going to make me laugh my tuckus off, I'm in. It's fun. Oh, and by the way, there's these huge epic CG dinosaurs sticking with the kind of whole Jurassic World theme. The film that they make is is kind of a dinosaur film. So you even get to see, you know, the guys that are in those weird, you know, mocap suits and what they do behind the scenes. It was so, it was so funny. It also stars Maria Bakalova, who we got to know from Borat. Of course, she was nominated for an Oscar. And this is one of her first roles since Borat. So I can't, I just thought it was funny. I just, I like I to laugh. I need to laugh. I am down for the bubble. I'm down for it.